Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Avril and if you're new to my channel, I upload a video every Friday. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to support my channel. Hi guys, thank you for joining. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you yet another IKEA hack. But this time, it's going to be an IKEA tree flip. So stick around to see how I transformed an old IKEA nightstand into a rustic looking coastal theme nightstand. Want to know how it's done? Stay tuned! So guys, I started off this project by prepping this IKEA nightstand for a coat of paint. Here you see me using a 240 grit fine sandpaper along with my orbital sander to give this nightstand a slight sanding. Once I was done sanding the nightstand, then it was time for the next step to sand the drawer. Here you see me taking the knob off to prep it for sanding. Now I'm done with my sanding and the next step is to give it a good wipe. Now the nightstand is all prepped and ready for a coat of paint. For this project, I decided to use my favorite paint, the Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the color linen white. I gave this IKEA nightstand two generous coats of paint and set it aside to dry. While the nightstand was drying, I decided to do something different with the drawer. Here you see me using the same chalk paint and just painting the edges of the drawer. I chose to do this because I was going to apply scrapbook paper on top of the drawer. Here you see me measuring the center of the drawer and prepping it for the next step. Since I was using scrapbook paper, I had to use two sheets to get my desired look. Here you see me using a wood glue and applying it onto the drawer. Afterwards, using a paintbrush, I evenly spread the glue onto the drawer. And then using my desired scrapbook paper, I placed it to the center of the drawer. Afterwards, I repeated the process onto the other half of the drawer and set it aside to dry. Now the drawer is dry and ready to be given a trim. Here I'm using an X-Acto knife to trim my edges. Once I was done trimming, I then took the paintbrush with glue and ran it around the edges. I did this process to ensure that the scrapbook paper was adhered well to the drawer. Afterwards, I decided to give this draw a bit of a rustic look. Here I'm using white wood filler on the edge of the draw to give it a bit of a rugged look. Once the wood filler had dried, I gave it a bit of a sanding to get my desired look. This is how it looks after the sanding. And now it's time to fix the draw handle. I decided to use a wall hanging which I got in hand. I simply took off the knob out of the wall hanging and then used that pilot hole to secure it onto my drawer. Afterwards, I applied some Gorilla glue onto the knob and placed it back onto the wall hanging and then wiped off any excess glue using a rag. I really loved how it turned out. This look can be easily changed by swapping the paper into any type of paper you like. Okay guys, that's it for today. Hope you got inspired and enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to support my channel and also to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, happy crafting!